Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I'll talk about UV filters. Now, a lot of people got questions always asking, do I need these? Do I not need these? Should I get one? Should I not? And I don't have to talk about that because you know me, I don't always have a straight answer because everything, you know, falls into circumstances. So I want to talk about UV filters a little bit. So let's hop in here and get to this. Okay, I'm going to first give you the straight up answer. Does your camera technically need a UV filter? And I'm going to tell you no. Since the digital cameras have evolved, and uh, since the film days, obviously, uh, there's been no need for UV filters. So do you need one to filter out UV light to your camera sensor? No, your uh, digital cameras do not need them. This was something that was brought over from the film days, so that's where we ended up with these. However, you, you have probably noticed these days, people advertise them as UV protection filters. So this is what I'm going uh, to really be aiming at here is, do you need a protection filter? Now, back here, I have a Tiffin one here. I pulled off one of my lens. Let me see if I can't focus in. Yeah, you might be able to read it. It says UV protection filter. Now, I get a, I get quite a few of these. And I get the Tiffin ones because, well, they're dirt cheap. And for what you're getting, they're well worth the money. I think you can get uh, probably like this one, for example. You know, just under $10 uh, for, you know, UV protection filter. Now, you want to watch out for some really cheap ones like this Vivitar here. Uh... They say HD multi coated plastic. So these are the cheap ones you get like four or five to like five dollars or something. Normally come bundled with a lot of lens and stuff. These are the ones you get your you know your mother or your mom in law, your grandparents, whatever. Because no matter what, you know, how much money you spend on a UV filter, uh, they're still gonna blur the image, get it out of focus somehow or another, so you know, this is what these cheap ones are for, you know, to give to your friends and family and stuff. And you keep the good ones for yourself. Now, I got the Tiffins here. I buy a lot of these. There are better filters. Uh, B&W, uh, B plus W, I guess people call them. Uh, Hoyas and a few others make some really, really good ones. They have multi, real good multi coatings. This is your basic one here, a quality glass one. If you're not sure... If just by thumping on it, if it's glass or plastic, you can turn them to the side like this, look down them. If it distorts, it's plastic. If it still looks really uh, clear, even though you've turned the lens at almost angle to see through it, it's a good chance it's probably glass. Now, like I said, these don't have the uh, real good coatings and stuff on them, uh, not that I'm aware of, as like some of the really high dollar ones. I know uh, the B plus W ones can run up or close to around $100. So $10 plus $100. Best is 100. You know, it depends on you what you need. I keep these around because, well, they're protection filters. I expect to get them dirty, botch them up, scratch them, throw them away, and buy another one and not be, you know, my pocket broken. So that's one reason I get the Tiffin ones. And they actually are really good. But uh, now let's get around. Do you need a protection filter? If you're going to be shooting in your home office, you never carry a camera outside. Heck no, don't bother getting one whatsoever. For example, like me though, I go out a lot, do a lot of traveling. I take my lens cap off, throw it in my camera bag, and walk around the entire day with no lens cap on. That's why a protection filter is great for me, especially if I go out to the seaside where there's a lot of sea spray and stuff coming in. You don't want that salt water getting on your lens, having to rub it back off. You know, then I can wear off the actual real good multi coatings that are actually on the front of your lens element. So that's something to watch out for, especially if you're going like dirty and dusty environments. You really want a uh, protection filter on there. Also, for example, a lot of your uh, quality weather sealed lenses aren't actually fully weather sealed until you actually put a protection filter on there. I think like the Canon 24 to 105, you know, the most popular, you know, kit L lens, I guess you could say. It's not uh, weather sealed until you put a protection filter on it. So that's something to keep in mind. So do you need one? It really depends on you. If you're going to be shooting outside and stuff, I really recommend it. I like to, you know, like I said, take my lens cap off, throw it in the bag, walk around all day with the lens filter. You know, if I need to wipe any of the dust and stuff off, I'd rather be wiping on this or blowing this off than actually touching my lens constantly. 
So that's my own personal opinion. But if you're going to shoot in a studio environment, heck no, don't get those. Like I said, you do want to watch some. Uh, this one, you probably tell there is reflection to this. You know, you want, if you're going to uh, really be taking some real high quality photos and stuff, then you're probably going to get some that's got the good, good anti glare, multi coatings, and everything on there that'll really, you know, help keep down on lens flare. That's something you got to watch on like these. I have noticed even with these, using, even using a lens hood, these can pick up a little bit of lens flare. But I'd rather, you know, fix a little lens uh, flare than actually be buying a new lens. So. That's my opinion on if you need them or not. Hope you like that. If you looking to get some of these, you know, I'll put a link to some of the tip ones down the bottom. Just check out my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber yet, you know, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more videos. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.